11 time to turn to sports. The Royals pitching last night was not good as Steve Stewart gives us a recap. A wild night on the 4th of July with lots of offense ended in a Tampa Bay 10-8 win over the Royals. Rays take two of three. KC finishes its homestand six and four. The Rays scored two in the first, two in the second. They never trailed. Royals fought back from large deficits, 5-1, 8-3, 9-4. At one point, they made it 9-7. Vinny Pasquantino drove in two. Hunter Renfro, two hits and an RBI. Michael Massey and Bobby Wood Jr. both homered. We're on tonight at 6.30 here on the Royals Baseball Network. Steve, thanks. It'll be a date with... Colorado. The Wichita Wind Surge were tied 1-1 in their game at One Oak Field against the Tulsa Drillers. That was suspended due to weather yesterday. That game resumes today at 4.30. Monarchs had the 4th of July off. They'll return to action tonight as they travel to take on the Great Bend Batcats for a 7 p.m. matchup. Kansas Jayhawk Community College Commissioner Mike Sadler has announced the hiring of Matt Kinney as Assistant Commissioner and Sports Information Director for the conference. Kinney, the current Assistant Athletic Director for Class County Community College will begin his duties with the conference Monday, July 15th. Wichita State alumni Paula Garcia selected to race on Spain's 4x100 meter relay team at the 2024 Paris Olympics after winning the 100 meter title at the Spanish Championships. Garcia graduated from Wichita State in 2022 and has continued to train and compete in Spain. Kansas stars Mario Chalmers and Sharon Collins are among 16 former men's college basketball players who have sued the NCAA in multiple conferences claiming they are profiting from the unauthorized use of their name, images, and likeness in promoting and monetizing the March Madness tournament. Chalmers hit the three-pointer to force overtime in that 2008 championship game against Memphis. The lawsuit says the NCAA and Turner Sports Interactive, another defendant, have profited from replaying Chalmers' shot without paying him. The Big East, Pac-12, Big Ten, Big 12, SEC, and ACC, also defendants in the class action lawsuit filed Monday in U.S. District Court in the Southern District of New York. Damages a federal jury has ordered the NFL to pay for violating antitrust lawsuits and distributing out-of-market Sunday afternoon games on a premium subscription service is $4,707 billion. Lawsuit covered 2.4 million residential subscribers and 48,000 businesses in the U.S. who paid for the package on direct tv since damages can be tripled under the federal antitrust laws nfl could be liable for 14 billion damages would be spread among the teams uh, equally meaning the 32 teams would each owe 440 million nfl has said it would uh, appeal the verdict could go to the ninth circuit court of appeals and then possibly the supreme court we are talking some mega dollars that's sports weather next i'm karen i 